Okay. It says I'm now live, so I'm going to trust that. <laughs> and hello, hello. Welcome to the Money Magic Miracle Hour. Um, this kind of was guided, or I was guided. This came through this morning. <laughs> and so I was guided to come on um, in my typical fashion, um, not really having planned it out. <laughs> but that's the way it is. Um, <clears throat> as always, if you hear little scuffling or chewing noises or snuffling noises or skittering noises <laughs> that's my puppies baxter baxter and minerva um the beagle boston terrier brother and sister um half and half um <clears throat> and i'm getting the the signal to let the dust settle so let's just, um, oh, there's my kitty Bella, Bella in the background. <laughs> it's always good for a witch to have a black cat nearby. Mm. <laughs> it was like, who, me? Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so I'm sure Somebody will join us um, live for the call, but if not, no problem. Um, I've, I do have one money healing request to <clears throat> tend to. And if we don't have anyone live, um, or if, if no one has posts, sorry, <laughs> I'm like, I'm in outer space. Well, I think the reason that I'm a little bit is because um, I actually did a healing activation in my group for my, my paid group um, members and um, and yeah and that ended at about 20 after 2 and it was really powerful healing <laughs> so I think I'm, I'm a little bit like floaty right now um, so pardon me so actually let's start out by getting grounded <laughs> And okay, <clears throat> so sit with your hands on your belly. You can't see my hands, but they're on my belly. And take some deep belly breaths in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> my cat, so cute. Uh -huh. oh, there we go. <clears throat> and um, <laughs> I don't know if this will serve to get me grounded or to get me even more floaty, but either way, we're going to just go with the flow. We're going to go to with the float. <laughs> Apparently. Um, and uh, I see a mountain goat in my vision and... <clears throat> They <laughs> can climb to the tippy top of, of most um, alarming and peculiar places and, and with no trouble at all. So they're very balanced. So I'm, I'm feeling the balance of the goat coming in. And I might have to write a novel called The Balance of the Goat. Hmm. <laughs> And this, this message coming in for our Money Magic Miracle Hour is have fun. I mean, even when you're, even when you're dealing with, you know, deep, dark healing and um, the releasing of old fear and pain and self-doubt and um, poverty conscious. <laughs> but but like have fun because this is just a planet you know and we're just spirits that chose to come here in human bodies to learn some good stuff and um things feel heavy and i'm not saying there there isn't heaviness 
and feelings of despair and disparagement and worry and anxiety and all of that stuff. But, <clears throat> you know, that, that all came as a result of the actions and decisions of humans in the first place. So if we start to come from a place of making the decision to be light and to choose happiness as our baseline at all times, no matter what else is going on around us and no matter what else we're feeling, because you can, you can be a happy person and feel sadness, feel grief, feel anger, feel fear, feel um, disappointment, you know, all of the things. We can feel all of the things while still consciously deciding to be a happy person. It doesn't mean you're going to skip around town with a parasol and a pink frilly skirt all day long. Although if you do, please take a video <laughs> and post it in the group because I want to see that. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, oh, ta-da! <laughs> Welcome, Bella the cat. What have you to say for yourself? Do not, do not threaten the dog. Um, okay. Animals keep it light. You know, that's another thing I want to address here. Um, with this new energy, new prosperity energy paradigm that started to channel through me um, at the beginning of this past November, it was made very clear to me that the animals are a big part of that. And that makes perfect sense because... I've really been an animal communicator, well, I was going to say all my life, but in many lifetimes. And my connection with the animals is powerful. And um, as I know, some of you or most of you know, and and they are literally OK. So <laughs> get ready for this. Um, I, I got this sense that, I, you know, within the past month or so, like that I was supposed to ask, OK, I know animals are, you know, conscious, sentient beings that share our planet. Um, I know that they are teachers of love. I know because obviously power animals, that they're teacher, teachers of empowerment, teaching us how to be in our own personal power. And Minerva's listening like, I like this lecture. Keep going, Mom. Um, but I asked, okay, so we know, we know all this. We know all this about animals or many of us know this about animals, but what are animals? Like humans, we know that we are, you know, that old saying, we're spirits having a, a human, embodied human experience. You know, I used to get mad and go, actually, I'm a human being right now because I chose to be a human being. So I'm a human being having a spiritual experience. So, and now I'm like, eh, yin yang <laughs> flips flip side of the penny you know a side b side of the of the mm, vinyl lp whatever it's all the same thing um but so we know that about us so i said what are the animals here's the answer i received animals are spirit beings from another universe <laughs> that have that are divinely appointed to come into our universe and to embody themselves as all of their species on earth in order to be our greatest teachers of love and personal power and and you know embody our own empowerment um so that's as far as i got with that answer but i thought that makes sense <laughs> I mean, you know, why the heck not? We're not the only universe in the multiverse. So, so there's that. Um, so with personal power comes ownership of the creation of our prosperity in whatever form, you know. And with that comes the creatorship and stewardship of our physical earthly money. So we're here <laughs> we're here to become money mages and to oh, i wish i had it on hand i wrote a fairy tale about money 
many years ago when I first started working with my clients um, specifically around money and around growing their abundance in their business businesses, um, I wrote this really cool fairy tale. I bet you some of you even remember it. Um, but it was a, the magician and his son and how money was invented. <laughs> it was really cool. I, I sent it to my brother to read because I had a feeling the little boy in the fairy tale was my brother and he said it made him cry. <laughs> so I'm like, now I'm crying. <laughs> we, I have to track this story down and post it in the group. Um, I'll, I'll repost it on my new blog. <laughs> I just hope I can find it. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, so I am, let's see. <laughs> no, before I get to the healing re request, something else wants to channel through me. Um, more messages. Wow, I'm, as I wipe my tear away. Um, hold on. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> all two of you. <laughs> Thank you for being here, by the way. Um, if you if you guys have any money challenges you want me to address, any money questions, um you know, pop that in the chat. Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything, no comments yet. Um, and the live seems to be working, thank goodness, because it was going weird on my on my business page recently where it kept cutting me off and I had to go like part two and all this stuff, choppy. Um, mm. Okay. So I'm getting the... I'm getting the uh, the phrase open to your money magic, open to money magic, not just yours, but just in general, money magic, the energy of money magic, connect with the energy of money magic. And how does that feel for you? If you, you know, call in the energy of money magic, whatever that, sh whatever, however it looks to you, whatever it feels like to you, connect with it. Allow it to integrate in your being and just, and sort of float around in your energy system. And whether to keep it to yourself or to write in your magical notebook or to pop in the comments, the, the chat, um, how do you feel when you connect with the energy of money magic? I'll share a little bit about how I feel when I'm connect I'm connecting with it now. So I feel empowered. I feel um, strong in my second chakra and starting to feel strong in my third chakra. I've been wearing a lot of yellow lately. Not today, but <laughs> I was earlier. Um, you know, for the solar plexus and the gold. I'm starting to feel, as I'm connecting with money magic energy, things opening up in my throat that were heretofore kind of closed and congested. I feel it wanting to open. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, okay, I'm going to make some noises. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that was a throat opening money magic ceremonial <laughs> sound healing code coming at you from the new prosperity, upper dimensions of our reality, of our existence. And oh yeah, yeah, see, I, I can feel that. I can feel, I feel like my head's screwed on better. <laughs> because <laughs> the throat can support it better. Um, I'm wondering how that felt for you. If you're not shy, pop it in the comments. Um, I won't bug you too much about commenting because I know sometimes I, like if I'm watching a thing, I'll feel like commenting. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm, you know, 
focusing, listening to something, but focusing on something else, which I know is actually probably not the best way. But I, I make set the intention to allow it to integrate in whatever I need from that talk or video or whatever to integrate into my being, whether I am conscious of it or not. <laughs> so that's the yawn of transformation, <coughs> um, which if you know me, you know it happens, uh, meaning a transformation has occurred which I knew, but it's good <laughs> to get the yawn anyway. Um, as I like <laughs> accidentally pour the coffee over my shoulder instead of down my throat. Mm. Okay, just checking to see what the dogs are chewing on. Cardboard and terry cloth. <laughs> that's, <laughs> those, that's their standard, um, standard issue or whatever. So... Yes. Okay. Healing request. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go look in the other. I have the group open in two places, one where I can go live and one where I can read the requests. Okay. So this is the healing request that came in. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Air bubbles. Oh. There I go. If you don't know me, the air bubbles are a sign of release, yay. And the yawn, again, is, is the sign that transformation has transpired. Okay. Healing request. I am dealing with feelings of discouragement due to health challenges this week that leaks over to discouragement around prosperity. I get that. I return, I return to my goals, but ideas for encouragement are appreciated when my body feels compromised. Okay, so, and this is Tanya who, who sent this request. I'm talking to you, straight to you. Um, in the paid group that you are a member of, I actually, the healing activation video that I created there today will actually really help with this and address this as well. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, it's right now, as we're finishing up in the heart of the new prosperity, it's in that group for now until we move over to the money magic group. But um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so so here, Tanya, and, and for anyone else um, who shares an interest in receiving the, the answer to this question or this re request. Um, create a column, just sort of a neutral see-through column of energy going through your whole being, your whole body. It starts above your head, probably three to four feet and goes all the way down, straight down through your body and ends probably about six feet down, <laughs> six feet under. <laughs> and that was a show, right? I think so. Um, six feet down into the ground. So that, yeah, yeah. So that it is going all the way through you above your head and below your feet. So like four to five, I forget what I said. Go about four feet above your head and six feet down below your feet a straight column of neutral energy. It's just about as wide as your body. Um, sometimes when we ground like tree, we make the tree trunk wider than us. But in this case, it's just a column. And, and, the, and there's a reason that, I'm, that this tool is coming in. So this is your column of sending it away. So as you experience a physical ailment or discomfort or, you know, um, health issue, first of all, create this column. What did I say? The column of sending it away? <laughs> Something like that. And just create it. Then connect with your issue or cha challenge, your physical health challenge, as you, as you put it. Guys, no, -uh. um, Connect with that and ask it, 
What is the main core reason it is there? What is the main message that it holds for you? Because pain is a messenger and it wouldn't be there if, if our body or our being wasn't trying to tell us something. Um, so ask your, you know, pain point or whatever, you know, health challenge, physical ailment, whatever you want to call it. What is the main core reason it is there? What, it, what is it there to teach you? What is its main core message for you? And receive that message, receive that teaching, and then say, you know, okay, thank you. And then say, because you're in your send it away column, I now send away all energies, emotions, and mental baggage that were never mine to begin with. Whether it's going to go up into the cosmos through your send it away column or down into the depths of the earth to be neutralized down through your send it away column. This is a new tool. This is just channeling in literally these past few minutes um, from the new prosperity. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. So that is, I could have used that when I was having my, my back spasm the other day, but I did a lot of other things and it was gone within an hour. I sent it away. <laughs> I must have already been using my send it away column. Um, so yeah, there we go. And, and, and you can, yeah, literally for any physical thing that crops up, do this. Always get the message. What, you know, what teaching wants to come through from the health challenge, the physical pain, the physical ailment. And, and then already standing within your send it away column that reaches up above your head and down below your feet into the earth. Then, you know, thank you for your message. Thank you for that teaching. I now send away all energy, emotional and mental baggage, energetic, emotional and mental baggage that was never mine to begin with. Pop goes the weasel or down the chute. <laughs> and I mean, e even e I'm just talking about it and I feel better. Like, so, so let me know how that goes for you. Let me know how that feels for you. And I've been on the page, not looking at the comments. There's still no comments. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I feel like sometimes I feel like Dr. Evil. Um, all right, my people. So I'm going to keep seeing if anything wants to channel through. Let, oh, we, we've got, we've got a money code coming up. Let me take a sip of my restorative Colombian coffee. Oh, okay. So, okay. So it's telling me to channel the code first. And once I've done that, I'll receive the message of what it's specifically helping us with. Okay. Ready? <laughs> if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're dri driving or operating heavy machinery, <laughs> whatever that means, um, <clears throat> like a plow or a tractor or a, <laughs> Some, something in a steel mill, I don't know. Um, I would pause at this point and, and listen to the replay when you're in a meditative, even though I kind of went into the, into the, whoops, the sound healing code thing earlier. Guys, cat and dog running around like crazy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there might be more activity from them while I'm channeling the code. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Niata le niata tai anna le akata la mina zale moneka yataka mola ya ne akale anakala zanala yata bona le alakala nina yataka i ya mola ya no ya si antaka.
<sighs> Let me scatter some more kibble for my people. <laughs> oh my god, look at the sun on my head. Wow! <laughs> I have turned to gold. Just call me Queen Midas. Um <laughs> Oh dearie dear. Okay. Alright, so I'm feeling feeling back into that code. to come through that was that was the earth talking to us oh god i'm gonna cry oh my god <laughs> freaking money magic it's awesome so earth what in the heck was that it's saying go back to the first first part of what i channeled okay and that was connecting with power animal crab and the lo uh, lotus blossom right yes so um, I'll look that up and see what, because I'm not sure what crab stands for um, or see if he wants to channel a message or something. So that, so crab and lotus blossom, that was the first part. And then this second part was earth speaking to us. And the message was, is, <laughs> wow, okay. Have a break from your regular routine on a consistent basis and allow yourself to simply be letting go of noise and anything in the background that tends to distract you or that usually distracts you. Ah, the tiger's here, and I asked why. Because tiger is translating Earth to English for me. <laughs> Thank you, tiger. <clears throat> um, is that it? That's it. Wow, wow. And I admit, it's not money magic when, you know, um... I was going to say, I, I admit that I have this tendency um, to get really distracted by a million different things before, you know, before I finally settle down and I, I'm able to focus. And um, I'm getting like, it's okay. It's okay to, to surf the web or go to YouTube and watch clips or whatever. There's a time and a place. But... I I have to remember personally that I'm sharing with you. <laughs> I admit <laughs> um, to give my sp myself space to simply be and literally do nothing. When we do this for ourselves, we're literally feeding our own piggy bank energetically. Because when we don't do that, when we forget to do that, we get frazzled. Our nerves get shot. Our we um, allow the environment <clears throat> around us to <laughs> wreak havoc on our on our energy systems and call the shots and all that and and the message coming through strongly is that you you know we are sovereign we are sovereign beings we are the ones that get to call the shots for our own lives businesses and experiences at all times but we do Thank you, Earth, for the, for the, I was going to say for the memory. <laughs> well, yes, for the reminder um, so that we can re-remember to 
simply simply be, you know, for at intervals throughout the day. Um, that feeds our souls more than a cup of coffee, although, you know, this is nice too. Um, and the message, by allowing yourself to simply be, you open yourself to all of the money magic that is available to you because you become an open vessel. You become your clear um, <laughs> intergalactic conduit. You know, we are each our own intergalactic conduits of prosperity. And it's, it's just about remembering, remembering to be and allow the flow to flow through us. So take some deep breaths on that. Whew. Oh, man. And thank you again to those watching live. Thank you to everyone who will be watching the replay. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> I think my code scared somebody away or, <laughs> or they just had to go do something else. Um, I have a fear of being scary. And that's, that's a money block. Um, that's another message that wants to come through. I, yeah, for years, because of how powerful an energy worker I am and that I know I am, I would, out of fear, not share the vastness of my power in a widespread way because I didn't want to scare people. And, and that, that was me holding myself back. I didn't really realize that at the time. I thought not scaring people was a nice thing to do. <laughs> and then I realized, but holding myself back isn't being nice to myself. It isn't fair to myself. It isn't healthy for myself. It is not, that's not me being in my power, you know. And human empowerment, especially for healers, is like my sole purpose on earth in this lifetime. So if I'm holding back because I don't want to be scary, I am a terrible teacher, right? So I've been <laughs> learning and coming, you know, when I started to allow the new prosperity energy paradigm to channel through me, that was me saying yes to fully being in my power and to fully being the shaman, healer, oracle, sorceress, star seed magician mage that that i am and um and yeah that really that opened up huge worlds for me so my question for you is what is your power what is your super strength superpower and are you hiding it um or are you slowly opening up and allowing it to come through and shine? Or are you standing firmly in your power and shining with all that you have? And no matter what stage you, you are at with that, and if you're just joining now, um, <laughs> go back and watch everything because the messages that have been coming through, excuse me, um, um, are really powerful. They've been messages from Earth. Oh, and we still have to look up crab and lotus blossom because, well, I know lotus is like, that makes sense because it's like Zen, serenity, meditation, calm, you know, being in the flow. And, and that's what led to the Earth code coming through, which said to just take intervals throughout the day to simply be but rewind and go back and receive that message too. Now I want to look up crab because crab came through as a power animal for us through that earlier code. Um, and it's telling me to look it up rather than asking crab directly. Oh, uh, oh, 
Ooh, this is very empowering. The first thing I saw was, um, <clears throat> and crab is now one of our totems because he, because he did come through for us. Um, if the crab is your totem animal, or I, I would say one of your totem or power animals, you are a strong and resilient being. Now we are. <laughs> like the crab's exoskeleton, you have the strength of a warrior and the resilience to adapt to any given situation. You're a gentle, calm, and collected person, but you're also a good fighter and nothing like a pushover. Oh, and the next one says, call on crab as a power animal when you need to go with the flow. And that goes with the lotus blossom and the message from earth to simply be. Wowie, wow, wow. Okay, and I wanna click on this one crab thing and see, oh, there's a little more info. Um, oh, hi crab, so cute. Mmm, okay. Mmm, okay, perfect, perfect. Call in crab as your power animal when you need to when you need help releasing pent up emotions and tanya that goes back to your healing um request too because physical pain doesn't just show up out of the blue it it stems from energetic mental and emotional baggage or you know or um yeah built up um built up energetic, emotional, and mental baggage, usually that doesn't even belong to us in the first place, or that we've allowed to build up and build up and not processed through. So it's like physical pain is the result of just kind of redumping all of our stuff back into ourselves and closing a door and not, not airing it out, not letting it process, not letting it release, not feeling our feelings, not doing a, a mind dump of stuff that isn't ours you know not being <coughs> um not <laughs> well now an ostrich came in but i was gonna say you know uh, physical pain comes a little bit from and and it happens to me too from sort of living with a little bit with our head in the sand like ostrich although they're not really doing it to avoid something. I think they're doing it to cool off because the sand is cooler. I think <laughs> that's just kind of like knowledge that's hanging around my head. But um, but the proverbial, you know, head in the sand thing, when we don't fully keep our energy clean and clear, when we don't fully allow ourselves to feel our emotions so that they process through and are able to be released, when we are not fully conscious of thoughts and worries and anxieties that spin around and around in our head like a broken record, instead of halting them in their path, rewinding, reversing, <laughs> throwing those out the window, you know, letting the air gods take them away, and asking only your pure thoughts to be present. When we're not taken care of, and this is Tanya again in the in the paid membership, it's so relevant to the healing I did there today. When we are not being the caretaker and steward of our own being on all levels, soul, energy, emotions, mind, and body, um, that's when all the stuff builds up and then erupts in a physical ailment or a health challenge. Um, and so, uh, and it's, I'll share the point that I made in the, in the paid um, group membership group too, is it's been coming into my consciousness more and more and more lately, how in addition to, you know, um, hiring and working with our favorite facilitators that we're so aligned with that we love, that it's, it's become increasingly important to, and the phrase came through, to be our own sovereign self healers and to really step into our power our, as, as our healer selves and turn that inward and use it on ourself. See, um, and it's really interesting because I, I did that for years and I, I healed myself of every um, chronic physical ailment I ever had, which was over a dozen at that time you know, over the years. And, and when I started to do my deep, 
powerful self-healing work every single day and letting go of everything that, that wasn't truly mine. One by one, one those, those chronic ailments never came back. Because I was cleaning, I was cleaning, 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 cleaning. Um, and if you don't have a healing method that you use on yourself um, or that you're that you know how to do or, or that can't channel through you or whatever, you can even start simply with Ho'oponopono, the chi uh, Chinese, the Hawaiian um, healing method, which consists of the four phrases. I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. Some people say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Doesn't matter which one you use. I say I forgive you because it just, I like all, all of them to start with I. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. And you're saying it not to anyone externally. You're saying it to yourself. And that's a method of cleaning your own energy. And when we do that, then external things around us start to change and become more um, to our liking as well. So I... Okay, thank you, Crab. Wow. What a journey so far. Okay, I'm going to see if there's no comments. <laughs> Everybody is so quiet today. Maybe you're simply being like Earth said to do. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if anything wants to come through. No, 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 no. I know it's called the, the Money Magic Miracle Hour, but that was taking into consideration that people would want their money challenges worked on, <laughs> which some, some do, some did. And um, if you're watching and not commenting, then you're still here and you're still vibing with what's been happening. So um, that's one way to do it. Someone did leave their comment, uh, uh, their healing request and that's the other way to do it and of course there's the fact that I only decided this morning to do this <laughs> and I gave a little bit of notice and that I think most of the people watching are going to be replay people and that's totally fine so let me let me just ask my soul and the new prosperity energy anything else wants to come through no no we covered we covered what needed to be covered during this power hour. Yes, yes, yes. And muscle testing. Yes. Okay. Everything's covered. Okay. So I'm going to <laughs> wrap all we've done in a beautiful globe of love. And I'm going to hand it to you. And you can take it and integrate it into your being say thank you. Thank you all of the alchemy and the energy shifts that wanted to happen today. Thank you for coming into my being and integrating into my life, into my business, into my self-created magical reality and universe. Thank you. Thank you, energies. Thank you, crab. Thank you, lotus. Thank you, Earth. Thank you, Mountain Goat from earlier. Go back and watch it <laughs> in the replay. Um, Mountain Goat brought balance. Ti thank you, Tiger. Tiger was here to translate Earth to English. If I'm forgetting anyone, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Ho'oponopono. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank me. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know how this has gone for you. I really appreciate you either being here or having been here or will be here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the dogs are napping. <laughs> the energy really calmed down. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye.